Hey, my name is Xavier Isaac. I play East Forsyth High School. Um, I'm committed to University of Florida, and my position is first base and outfield. And this is the day of my life. What got me into baseball was my dad. Um, I played a lot of sports when I was like around three or four, but I guess baseball was my, my dad thought I was the best at baseball. So I just really just took it on from there. And I was like around four years old. Um, so, I mean, I've loved it since. Uh, my parents are not really big football, you know, fans of it because contact and, you know, stuff like that. And then I've just also been like a big power hitter. You know, a lefty, it's really rare to see lefties out there and stuff like that. Goes out by an inch or by 100 feet. Home runs a home run. No, I'm just saying that. Yes, sir, baby. Just like some seed, right? Like, yeah. Goes in the air. Switch. That's what he said, though. Outfield routine. Bigger. 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 Biggest. That's first, first, first time. Bigger. First time. Oh, yeah. shit, first time we should have. First time, yeah. We beat him second time, but. Huh? We didn't even know. We pressed that. Who, baby? The first time. I know, because. Dude, bro, that big hand I was guarding had like 13 points because whoever right. was guarding that good guy okay. got blown by. Okay. What made me choose Florida University? Um, first of all, I don't really love the cold. I don't really like cold at all. I'd rather just play in straight heat the whole time. Um, I have a lot of families down there. Um, the coaching program is awesome. I mean, it's you can you can already see it's already developing and it's it's going you know where it needs to go. So, I mean, Florida, of course, you know, number one program for me, of course. So, and I have a lot of family down there. So, yeah. I definitely hit like 88 my last album. I, I, I was like 80. <laughs> Who's that against? Ragged. <laughs> No, no pressure to me. Um, I, you know, if um, just like yesterday, I struck out and you know the whole crowd goes wild because you know I'm committed. So I mean, to me, there's no pressure at all. Like it's not like, oh, I need to go do this, and you know I gotta go do this, I gotta do that. But to me, I'm just like a regular baseball player. I just put that behind my back. And people, you know, call me a Florida commit, but to me, I'm just, you know, a good guy on the field and, you know, love my players and anything. I don't treat my players bad just because they're not committed or whatever like that. So I love them, man. All you got to say is two. Don't cut it. If you just say cut, you know what they're going to do? They'll catch it and just stop. All right? So if you ever hear cut infielders, you just catch it, hang on to it. If you hear a base number, one, two, three, four, catch it, throw it to that base. Does everybody understand that? Yes, sir, dude. Everybody understand what we're about to do here? Yes, Outfitters, left field. Everybody else hit your spots. Let's go. Behind, go. Two. Oh, you got an easy one. Two. 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 Two.
I started taking baseball way more serious when I got to around seventh grade. Um, I started seeing like, oh, I've been really doing good. Like, you know, I'm a big kid. It's not like, I'm, you know, wearing off. And then eighth grade came around. That's when I started getting recruited. Um, I used to play for South Charlotte Panthers. And then um, I ended up going to the Canes and it just blew up pretty much. And I love Canes from there. I love what they're doing for recruiting they helped me a lot with recruiting you know I had it I mean I wasn't just one D1 school it was just expanded for everyone so they really helped me out a lot um, but that's how I took baseball seriously there's nobody on first base where are we going we'll throw in front of them throw behind him, he's going to start. All right, automatic double, okay. Down the left field line, who's the cutoff man on the tandem? Short stop only. So you gotta find, hit him. Got me? superstitions um say if I do good one game like pants wise or anything that I can have that on that one day that I played that day it could be socks um anything like under like your jersey pants and uh your cleats of course but socks would be like probably the number one thing I think I one time I was hot in the U.S. carry this year USA and I just wore the socks every day. I, they might have stunk, I don't know, but uh, it was it was going really good for me down there, Carrie. So I just you know wore it there. But I don't have any rituals. No, I don't have any rituals. So yeah.
Oh! Uh, can't take me deep. Run, run, run! Um, it's been different since COVID. Um, I've usually, I'll wake up, roll in my bed. Um, we have weightlifting in the morning, so we'll work out in the morning. Um, uh, I'll go downstairs. Usually I'm really like light on breakfast on game days, like food. I usually like eat um, honey boches of oat cereal. I love, you know, that kind of cereal. Just try to keep it a little healthy. Um, but um, in the morning, it's just really just work out and then eat and then go back to school, you know, stuff like that, so yeah. We gotta get better in situations. Alright. It shouldn't be just go up there and let me see how hard I can pull a baseball. And some of y'all did. If you don't believe me, I wrote down where every one of you hit it. So I'll know it was yank, yank, yank. A lot of you. It was not a lot of middle. Yeah. Young guys. You guys that can run. What can everybody do? Run. What can everybody on defense do? Catch a pop up. Most everybody. You guys that run, they got one opportunity to screw up on a fly ball. On a ground ball, how many opportunities they got to screw up? They got to throw it, they got to catch it, throw it, catch it. If you try to make hard line drives and ground balls, you guys that can really run, because a lot of you guys can't hit the ball in the ballpark. Some of y'all taking a lot of swings over there, try to hit it over that fence. And you ain't strong enough to do that yet, nor do you have the bat speed to do that yet. Y'all trying to take these really long mammoth swings. That'd work. Um, thank you for seeing my day in the life. Um, we came out here about around four o'clock. Uh, we did tandems. We did um, fielding, outfield, everything. And then we did a, a scrimmage against our JV. And of course, we you know, JV didn't pitch to us, but our coaches pitched and we got into like situational hitting and stuff like that. So thank you for, you know, coming on the day in the life with me. What's up guys, I'm Hype and I had to jump in this video real quick to tell you about a giveaway I'm doing on my Instagram page. I'm giving away a pair of cleats to one subscriber to the channel. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel you're on right now. Follow me on Instagram, comment two people under that post and you'll be automatically entered into the giveaway. Once this channel gets to 5,000 subscribers, I'll be giving away a pair of cleats. So good luck.